YouTube, as you come on, can you hit the, um, are they acting up already? Y'all got to block people already. Oh, God. As you come in on YouTube, hit the like button and share the live really quick, please. <coughs> Sorry. And I know I always tell y'all I'm going to be quick. I'm so serious. I didn't get my nap in. I'm tired and I've had a day. What's up, Misha? Misha says, so why are you here? I don't even know what they said. I missed it. It's probably a good thing I missed it. Can y'all hear me on YouTube? Riri said he's blocked. Oh. Can y'all hear me on YouTube? Okay. All right, turn your Bibles to Philippians chapter 4. What's up, Jazzy? What's up, C? What's up, Jalisa? What's up? Oh, Misha already spoke to you. What's up, Melanin? Melanin? What's up, Christopher? Philippians chapter 4. I know some of you have to go. Rebecca, look at you in the right chat this time. Because, girl, you be commenting under the wrong chat. You're in the correct chat right now, Rebecca. Cousin Big. Philippians 4. What's up, Diamond? What's up, Amber? What's up, Candice? Cousin Big. Radiant. Everybody on YouTube that wants to hide and not comment. I'm going to read it in, I think I'm going to use the NASB version. I'm going to cover the live. Then I'm going to read and we're going to go straight into prayer. We're going to pray in the spirits. Philippians. What did I tell y'all? Philippians 4. I released a video, Romans 8, the new series. Make sure you go watch that. I released it on YouTube and um, YouTube and TikTok. Thank you, C. I hear that all the time, especially from men. They're like, oh, your voice, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was about to say I gave y'all the wrong scripture. No, I didn't. I'm in the wrong version. Hold on. How was everybody's Resurrection Sunday? How was your Sunday? He answers quick. Somebody put that in the chat. Oh, baby. Well, I mean, I'm going to pray. I don't know about a word. If he gives me a word, then I release it. But I'm a prophetic intercessor. So normally when I start praying, corporate prophetic words come out. Um, He answers quick. Listen, I just heard that. Okay, the the brochures, the brochures, the brochures. That would be a cool name for a YouTube channel. The brochures. He answers quick. What's up, Erica? Lord, the evangelist is on here tonight. I got to pray. I got to pray. Pray real good. What's up, CJ? What's up, Natalie? All right, Father, I cover this live now in the name of Jesus. Cover us from witches, warlocks, any demonic distractions, any trolls that would try to come in here to throw me off. Lord, I'm a focus tonight, okay? We cover the life now in the blood of Jesus. We cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. We cover our family members in the blood of Jesus and our friends. I thank you that the armor of God is our portion, even as we go into prayer. I thank you that we have the belt of weight. I thank you that our loins are girded about with truth. I thank you that we have the breastplate of righteousness. I thank you that we have the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. I thank you for the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I thank you that our feet is shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and the helmet of salvation. Did I remember to 
say that. I don't know. I thank you that we're covered from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Even now, I thank you for the angels of the Lord that encamp round about us to even come against principalities or powers that would try to attack us. Even as we go into prayer, Father, I thank you for those that are going to be healed, delivered, and set free from anxiety on tonight. Anxiety, worry, stress, and things like that. We count it done now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. What's up, Chelsea? Somebody put in Jesus' name. What's up? Ooh, jo Jovita. I'm probably girl. Sorry. Kyle's grandma. All right. We had worship, prayer, free washing, and communion last night. Ooh, Jesus, Erica. Ooh. I bet the glory was in there with all of that. My God. Ooh, girl. I know Pastor Renee, I got her alert this morning, Pastor T. Renee Glenn. I forgot that she does like 6 a.m. prayers on Resurrection Sunday. Baby, I was trying to watch and I just end up, I fell asleep. Praise the Lord. All right. Um, what's up, Tiffany? Philippians chapter 4. We're going to start at verse... I'll start at verse 4 just for fun. When you have it, put I have it in the comments. I have it. I have the word, whatever. Thank you for the likes and the taps on TikTok. Also, I put a live goal up there. Those are like one cent gifts to hearts. So if you all can help me reach my goal and send me pink hearts on TikTok. I was by Sam Clubhouse and hit the like button on YouTube, please. And thank you. Let me know when you have it. Okay, I see some eyes. Okay, Christy has it. Philippians chapter 4, starting at verse 4. I'm going to read it out the NASB. You pick whatever version you like. All right, I see some I have it. It says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. Oh, there's something I forgot to do. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Y'all give me one second. All right, sorry. Center. I don't know how to fix this. This is what I get on TikTok. Here we go. All right. What's up, Air? I don't know who that is. I don't know who, who are you, Air? Um, Philippians 4. Again, verse 6 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all comprehension. The KJV says all your understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Verse 8 says, finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, 
whatever is of good repute. If there is any excellence and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. The things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. Tonight, the prayer point, don't panic, pray. Somebody put that in the chat. We're about to pray. Don't panic, pray. Oh, y'all tapping the screen on TikTok. Thank you for tapping, tapping, tapping. Don't panic, pray. You can even put, I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to panic. No more panic. All right, we're going to start praying in the spirit. What's up, queen? We're going to start praying in the spirit. If you do not have your... So if... So so I just read the scripture, right? I just read the scripture. I just told you all what to put in the chat. This is literally what we're about to pray for corporately. So nobody has to say, hey, please pray that I stop. That's literally the prayer point for tonight. You all have got to get out of this thing where you think people have to call your name out in order for God to hear you. I really do not want you all to be like that. Okay, we're praying corporately. Get what you need. Period. Get what you need. If you don't have your prayer language yet, just adore the Lord, worship him, things like that. Or you can believe in faith and start speaking. You can speak literally just like that. I think I released a word and I told you all 2024 is not the year to not have the Holy Ghost. I know some people act as if. What's up, Ty? As if he's the third member of the Godhead and he's just an option. He's not. He's God. You need the Holy Ghost. And I'm not even going to get into... You need the Holy Ghost. What's up, Toby? Rakaya la basuku yele beshi adaba soku yele beshi rapan suku yele bebe beshi ya rapa paku yele beshi ya rapa ku yele bebe shi ya rapan suku yele bebe ki ya rapa suku yele beshi ya darada baso rapan suku yele bebe shi ya rapan suku yele beshi ya Holy Spirit arrest us on tonight la paku yele bebe shi adaba aku uya la pan suya. Haya da 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 ba suku ye de be 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 shia rapa suku ye de be shia. Oh raka ya la ba 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 suku ye de be 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 shia rapa pa ku ya raba suku ye de be 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 shia rapa so. Raka ya we crown you King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You're King of Kings and you're Lord of Lords. You're King of Kings and you're Lord of Lords. La ta ta ba aku o ye de be be shia ta pa suku ya la ba so. Oh, raka ya la ba 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 suku ye de be 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 shi ya ra ba ba suku ye de be 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 shi ya ra ba 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 ko ye de be be shi. Raka ya la ta ta pa suku ye. Okay, I'm gonna have to start taking notes like I did when we was doing midnight prayer. Like when we first started doing midnight prayer, so I can remember the stuff I'm hearing. La pa ku ye de be shi ya ra pa pa ku ye de be shi ya ra pa pa ku ye de be shi ya ra pa so ku ye de be shi ya ra pa so ku ye de be be e shi ya ra pa pa su ya la ka ya na man su ku ye de be shi ya ta ta pa su ku ye de be shi ya Father, we love you on tonight. Ah, ya da ba su ku ye de be shi ya da ba o ku u ye de be shi ya da ba ba su ya ra pa so ku ye de be be shi ya ra pa so ku ye de be 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 shi ya da 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 ba su ya. The first song I started hearing when we started praying. Y'all probably don't even know this song. It's Lord. I don't even know the boy name. Crown him Lord. Crown him Lord. Rich Talbert. That's the first thing I started hearing. Crown him. 
O Jesus, la pa ku ye de be she a la pa so ku ya ra pa su. Father, we bless you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. We crown you, Lord, on tonight, April first, twenty twenty four. I'm still trying to figure out how in the world is how is it April? How is it April already? We crown you, Lord, on tonight. We decree and declare that you are Lord over our lives. We will not bow to another. I need y'all to put it in the chat. He is Lord. We will not bow to another. We will not bow to another. We crown you Lord. We crown you King. We thank you that you're King of Kings and you're Lord of Lords. You are the Lord strong and mighty. You are the Lord God who is mighty. You're mighty in battle. You're Jehovah Gabor. You're the God that fights for us. We don't even have to break a sweat. That, that's what I just heard. And moderated is if y'all see, top, uh, what do you call it? I did not. Oh, my God. I just muted somebody by mistake. Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. If you see, I was trying to pin her comment and I muted her. Mm-mm-mm. Um, I don't know how to undo that. La pakuyele bechea. This is awful. If you see comments that need to be pinned, pin them. That's what I was trying to do, and I muted somebody. Don't be like me. La pakuyele bechea. I think I muted Crystal by mistake. Crystal, come out and come back in and see if that fixes it, girl. I don't know what I just did. Or whoever I just muted by mistake. Go out and come back in and see if that works. We crown you King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Even now, we thank you for being the great I am. We thank you that every single thing we need, you are. And we will not bow. We will not bow our knee to another. Your word says that every knee is going to bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord. All of these other gods have to bow to you. They have to bow to you. There's a song that says all the other gods. Thank you for sharing the live. All the other gods, they are the works of man. You are the most high God and there is none like you. La paku yedebeshea. I thank you that you're the only God with the empty tomb even now. Oh, I muted Riri by mistake. Got it. I unmuted you, Riri. My bad, girl. I thank you even now in the name of Jesus. I thank you for allowing us to borrow your breath once again. When I was praying yesterday morning, I was like, God, you're so good that on this resurrection day, you didn't just give us breath. But you woke up people that are literally saying you do not exist. Atheists, agnostics, people that are worshiping other gods. You love them so much that you still, even though they're saying you don't even exist. You said, you know what? I'm going to let you borrow my breath another day. He is that kind of God. We give you glory. We give you glory. Riri, you can go back. I, I found it. My bad. You can go back on TikTok. We give you glory even now in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you consider us. We thank you that you're intentional about us. We thank you that you don't play about us. I was on a live earlier and the host was saying, she was like, one thing about it, she was like, God does not play about me. And I have people that tell me that all the time. Thank you for the gifts. I have people that tell me that all the time. Like, Renisha, God, he really don't play about you. Father, I thank you that you do not play about us. You are serious and you stand on business concerning us. Mm. You stand on business concerning us. Put that in the chat. God stands on business concerning me. I thank you that you y'all know ghetto encounters with God. Y'all already know. Father, we thank you for standing on business concerning us. This is why we don't we, we don't have to be anxious and worry and stressed out about things because you stand on business. There's something that happened today. And baby, when I tell you the peace of God that surpasses my understanding, I don't even know how I stayed that calm. 
I don't even know how. I don't even know how I stayed so calm. I'm talking about I was unbothered. Me, myself, and I, can you remind me before I get off to do that? I don't even know how I stayed that calm. I was completely unbothered. I did not panic. I did not doubt God for a minute because I know what he said. I can't get into it on here. But when I tell you his peace is a real place. Oh, Lord, have mercy. The peace of God. Father, those that are in turmoil, those that are dealing with anxiety, stress, or worry, or anything like that, I thank you for catapulting them tonight to a place of perfect peace. I ask you to do that for me tonight. Catapult these people. Every prayer is not for everybody, but for those that need it. Catapult them to a place of perfect peace. When I tell y'all I was not bothered, not even a little bit, I'm talking about, I don't, it makes no sense to me. And y'all know I'm extra, but right now I'm not being extra. It makes no sense. Father, give them that type of peace. Give them that type of peace, even now in the name of Jesus I thank you that you don't play about us. I thank you that you're concerned about us. I thank you that you see us, you hear us, you know us. And I thank you that you're coming through. You're coming through. You're coming through. Put that in the chat. God is coming through for me. I thank you that you're coming through for us like only you can. Big business. He's standing on big business. For those of you that may be new here, I used to call my lives ghetto encounters with God. Some of the stuff I say. It might sound funny, but I promise you, the Lord speaks to all of us in different ways. And sometimes he just talked to me like that. Big business. That's what I'm hearing. He's standing on big business concerning us. Father, we give you glory. We give you glory. And I'm talking about with what I face today. I could have easily broke down and went to crying and just stressing and worrying. But for what? I know what the Lord said. You have to be intentional about your peace. Listen, Whitney, you have to be intentional about your peace. And don't let anybody else. Who boundaries? Okay. Rakaya la papakuya. Father, we just thank you for being good. You are a good father. You're a good father. La Paku Yedebeshe, you are a good father, and you don't allow us to be caught off guard. We thank you for it even now in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you send warning before destruction. La Paku Yedebeshe, we thank you that you will never let us be caught off guard, even when we can't articulate what we're sensing, what we're feeling, even if we only have a piece of the pie, a piece of the puzzle. I thank you that you never allow your people to be caught off guard. In the last two days, I've been seeing videos regarding... Oof, we just gonna pray. I don't want I don't even want to start talking about it and my life gets shut down. But things that are happening within the government, within the US, we need to be praying for real, for real. Lord cover. Let your blood cover. This is no time to panic. We're going to pray. I even saw a comment that said we may literally be at war already and they're just not saying anything. Some of the videos I saw this in the last two days, crazy. And I said, if they're putting this out on the news now, it's old to them. It's new to us, but it is, it is, if they put it, it's old to them. Father, we thank you for covering us. We thank you that you hide us now in your secret place. We thank you that Psalm 91 is our portion. We thank you that Psalm 23 is our portion. Father, we don't know what we're about to face, even on this year, as it relates to our nation. But we know that you are our safe place. Ooh, may we be found in you. 
may we be found hidden in you. When we started praying, the second thing I heard was the safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. The, the song, when Kiki was little and sung it with her mama, I started hearing that. That was the second thing I heard. Listen, if you're not in his perfect will, you better get there. I don't know what's coming. I don't know when it's coming. It may be here already. But if you are not in his will, I'm going to need you to get there. I'm going to need you to hurry up and get there. And I don't need you to get there out of a place of fear. No, 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 no. I don't need you to run out of a place of fear. I need you to get there. Get in a safe place. Father, we may, may, be, may we be found hidden in you. Mm. Reignite our hunger and our thirst. Those that have fallen off. Those that have lost it. Reignite their hunger for you. Reignite their hunger for your word. Reignite their hunger for worship. Reignite their hunger for praise. Baby, Holy Spirit jumped me about 15 minutes before getting on this live. What is the song I started saying? I can't even remember the song. And y'all know I can't sing. I'm not going to sing it. The center of my joy. I got lost. I got lost just in singing, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment. I think that's the words. Hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. Jesus has to be your center. If not, you're not going to make it. You're going to lose your mind. It just is what it is. I don't know any other way to say it. Father, I pray that these people resubmit themselves to you. Give them the yes that you're requiring. I pray that they give you the yes that you have been requiring from them. May they find you at the center. May they put you back at the center of their lives. Some of y'all, he can't even bless you with what you're praying for. Because if he do, you're going to forget about him. He can't even do it. If he gives you what you're asking for. He, you're going to put the job in front of him. You're going to put the house in front of him. You're going to put the car in front of him. You're going to put the husband or the wife in front of him. You're going to put the kids in front of him. Baby, I don't listen. So he can't bless you with it. You're not ready yet. Now, that's not for everybody. It's just for who is for. Father, help us not to forget about you when we're walking in the promise. When we're walking in, when we're walking everything that we have prayed, some of us have begged you for. Help us not to forget about you. Rapa pan suku yele beshe ala pasuku yele beshe ada da da basu yele yele beshe ada bansu ya. I'm hearing the, the the other verse that says it is in you that I find pleasure in the simple things in life. Father, help us to find pleasure in the simple things again. Help us to not ignore the fact. See the fact that you can get up out of your bed and walk without any assistance. The simple thing. But it's really not simple. The fact that you were able to wash your behind without assistance today, the simple thing. The fact that you were able to brush your teeth, the fact that you were able to eat your food and nobody had to help you, the fact that you don't have an IV running in your throat, a trach or something running out your stomach, a feeding tube, the simple things. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Father, help us not to forget about the simple things. Listen, the fact that we woke up, the simple things, we take his breath for granted. We take the fact that we can sit and scroll on his phone all day. Some people don't even have fingers. They don't have fingers. They don't have hands. They're paralyzed. The simple things. Father, we're grateful. The old folks used to say, God, I thank you for the activity and uses of my limbs. They would say, I got a reasonable portion of my health and strength. We claim it all of it. Father, we thank you for the simple things even now in the name of Jesus. The fact that we can get on social media at any point in time and to call the name Jesus and our house not be blown up. 
Come on, if you got a phone, a computer, anything, the government knows where you are. I don't care what kind of phone it is. They know they know where you are. They have your location. The fact that we can do this and not be unalived, the simple things, we give you glory for it even now in the name of Jesus. The fact, listen, that we're in our right mind. Y'all put it on YouTube and TikTok at the same time. The fact that we have our right minds. See, baby, that don't mean much to some people. But I've been to a place where I felt like my mind jumped out of my head and just went, it just went walking. It went on vacation or something. No, like for real, for real. Like for real, for real. Father, the fact that we have our right minds in the midst of some of the, Ooh, the things that we, some of us have faced and we're still sane. We're not in a straitjacket right now. We give you glory for it even now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you're good. You're good. You're good and your mercy. You are good and your mercy endureth forever. Father, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy. You are good in your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy endureth forever. You are good and your mercy endureth forever. La pakuya de beche. Father, we thank you for being good to us. We don't deserve it. We've been so bad. We've been so bad, but yet you continue to be so good. We give you glory. La pakuya. Thank you for saving a wretch like me. Rapan I thank you that you are a good God. You've been a good God to a bad girl. I give you glory even now in the name of Jesus. Your name alone is excellent. Your name alone. La Paku Father, your name is hollow in this place even now in the name of Jesus. I give you glory. I give you glory. I give you glory. La Paku I command everything in me to give you glory even now in the name of Jesus. Rapaku The fact that you stop death. La Paku Oh Lord, have mercy. In 2015, I was in the worst car accident ever. A fit, a 16-year-old literally just got his license, was driving a Charger, hit my, I was driving a Honda Coupe, brand, well, it was paid off, but bought it brand new, hit me just like this. I'm driving this way, T-boned me. My car went all the way over into the median. I don't even know if I went into the far lane, but no cars was coming. That was God on a busy highway. My car did a a right turn, went in the air, and was going straight toward this building, a brick building. And all I said was, God, I'm about to die. See, this is why nobody can convince me that God isn't real. There's nobody that can convince me. My car was going in the air going straight for a brick building and that car stopped just like that and landed on the ground. People stopped in traffic and came running to me because they just knew I was gone. Came running. It was the angels of the Lord that came between me and that building, first of all. The angels was like, God said, not yet. My car dropped. By the time the people got, I'm talking about people were coming, running to me. By the time they got to me, I was taking off my seatbelt, getting out the car. No airbag deployed. Not one broken bone. Not one scratch. I hit my knee. Had some back issues or whatever. But listen, so when I say he stopped death from me, I'm not just talking. It's not just a cliche. This is my testimony. I got history with this man, okay? Father, we thank you. We thank you that the angels of the Lord are encamped round about us. That's a real thing. See, I actually believe this Bible that we preach out of. I believe it. The God we pray to, I believe him. Father, we thank you for keeping us from danger seen and unseen. I had literally just left my cousin. Things can happen just like that. Literally just left her, met her in Florence because she bought me something, went and picked it up. And just that quick, I had to call her. 
I need you to come. I just got in an accident. God, I thank you for being good to us. The blood of Jesus. That was 2015. The enemy wanted to take me out. It is 2024. And somehow I'm still here. Now I could go back to the beginning of how the enemy didn't even want me to get here. But I, I, I'll, I'll save that for another day. Father, we give you glory. We thank you for being the covenant-keeping God. Put that in the chat. He's the covenant-keeping God. I thank you that you are the covenant-keeping God. You keep your covenant. Every promise that you made, not just to us directly, but I'm hearing there are some promises he made to your grandmothers. And I know sometimes we act as if only women in our family were saved. I know that's not true, right? I know that's not true. But I'm just saying what I hear. There are some promises he made to some of your grandmothers. And this is why he's keeping you to this day because of what he promised your grandma. Father, I thank you for being a covenant-keeping God. This is why intercession is so important. This is why intercession is so important. When my mom's mom died, I can't even remember how old I was. I was young. I don't even know if my little brother was born yet. If so, he was a baby. I was young. But I used to be at my grandmother's house every day. That grandma, every single day, she used to keep me. And baby, when I tell you I got her mantle and she was an intercessor. And I don't even remember, like, I don't even have the testimonies because I was so young. Like, oh, yeah, my grandma, you, I just know she loved the Lord and she was an intercessor. And I've had prophecies about having her mantle. But I know there are some things, not saying my other grandma, y'all know about my other grandma, but <laughs> I know that there are some things that I'm benefiting from. There are some prayers of hers that I'm still writing on to this day. There are some prayers my cousins are writing on, my mama, my aunts, my uncles, because of what my grandma prayed. Baby, she loved the Lord. Do you hear me? She was faithful to him. And we thank God for the praying granddaddies, too, because the grandpa, me and y'all be praying, too. But, Father, I thank you that you are a covenant-keeping God. I thank you that you're a covenant-keeping God. La pakuye de bishia. Father, I thank you that these people don't have to worry about anything. They don't have to be anxious for nothing, but they need to bring these things to you with prayer and thanksgiving. They need to make their requests known to you. Father, I thank you that you're going to do just what you said concerning them. Put it in the chat. God's going to do just what he said concerning me. You can type it however you want to type it, but. God is going to do just what he said concerning me. I thank you for it even now in the name of Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. I command anxiety to go now in Jesus name. We evict it on tonight. If you know you're still dealing with anxiety, I need you to come out of agreement with it. If you've been saying my anxiety, my anxiety, my panic attacks, my worry, my stress, my this, my that. I need you to come out of agreement with it. I can pray all day and all night, but if you're in covenant with this thing, I need you to come out of agreement with it. It is not yours. It does not belong to you, okay? I thank you that they will be anxious for nothing. I thank you that the peace of God is their portion even now. And it says the peace of God is going to guard your heart and your mind. Y'all, I promise you, I'm I experienced another level of peace on tonight, on yesterday. And I'm pretty, now when it comes to the peace of the Lord, I it took me a long time to get there. But like, I really, I really be sitting in it for real, for real. But I experienced a whole nother level of peace on tonight. And it says it will guard your hearts and your minds. Father, I thank you that you're taking us to a place where the peace is guarding our hearts and our minds, even now in the name of Jesus, our hearts will not grow weary. Our hearts will not faint. 
We're not going to have nervous breakdowns. We're not going to be putting all these thoughts in our head to cause panic attacks. Some of us, some of you, you literally think yourself into an anxiety attack. No more. Not after tonight. No more. Thank you for the, the likes on TikTok. The, I mean, yeah, thank you for tapping the screen on TikTok. Please hit the like button on YouTube. I hate to keep stop saying that. But. Verse 8 says, finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is a good report, if there is any excellence and anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. Father, I thank you that the truth outweighs the facts. The facts is some of you all are struggling right now. The truth is he supplies your need, all of your need according to his riches and glory. The facts are some of you are physically sick right now. The truth is by his stripes, you're already healed. Y'all understand? Father, I thank you that your truth will always outweigh the facts. Help these people, help us to focus on, focus on those things that are true. The truth is we're the head and not the tail. We're above and not beneath. The truth is we have enough to feed the nations. We lend to many nations. We do not borrow. That is the truth. I thank you that your truth, I thank you that your truth is outweighing the facts even now in the name of Jesus. What's up, Enigma? In the name of Jesus, your truth, your truth, your truth, it will be our shield and buckler. Remind these people, even when they start to break down, remind them of truth. When the enemy comes, the tormentor speaking in their ear, remind them of your truth truth remind them of your truth the truth is he is not slack concerning his promises that's the truth the truth is for your shame he's going to give you double that's the truth the truth is that you're going to get the latter rain and the former rain. That's the truth. Father, help us to focus on your truth. The truth is he can't start anything that he won't finish. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. And he's going to perfect every single thing concerning you. That is the truth. Father, help us to focus on your truth. Help us to focus on things that are honorable. Help us to focus on things that are right. Even when the enemy tries to always present us with wrong, help us to focus on what's right. I'm going to just stop coming on here talking about me be praying for a few minutes because y'all see this happens every time I give up. <sighs> help us to think on the things that are pure, 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 pure. God, purify us, cleanse us, wash us afresh even now in the name of Jesus. Some of us can't think on the things that are pure. This is what I'm hearing. Some of us can't think on the things that are that are pure because of what we're watching, what we're allowing in. Eye gates and ear gates. You have to be careful what you watch and what you listen to. You have to be careful with what you consume on social media. Okay, Evangelist Erica, you have to be careful with what you consume on social media. This is why some of you, it's hard for you to think on what is uh, pure. You got all of this corruption. You're taking in all of this foul stuff. And then you realize why you're struggling, why you battling, why you can't sleep at night. Duh. Okay. Father, help us to think on those that those things that are lovely and of a good report. Ooh. Lord, you are lovely. That was awful. I can't sing. Lord, you are wonderful. Who sings that song? Lord, you are precious to me. That's what I just heard, that song. That is an old song. Is it John Lincoln? Lord, you are lovely. Help us to think on that which is a lovely and of a good report. Father, you are lovely. That's the point I was trying to make. Please don't let these people log off because I sound like a squealing cat. Father, 
but I thank you that you are lovely. You are lovely. Oh, I'm going to have to listen to that song when I get off here. Father, we want to see your glory. Mm. And we will see your goodness in the land of the living. Let's say this is John Lincoln. I might be lying. But I'm not lying. There it is. You all can look it up when you get off if you want to. It's called Lord You Are Lovely by John Lakin. Help us to dwell on these things. Help us to dwell on these things and to give you praise while we're dwelling on it. Why? Because we knew you were going to do it. God, we knew you were going to come through for us. Put it in the chat. Thank you for the follows on TikTok. Thank you for the follows on TikTok. Thank you for the taps on TikTok. Thank you for those that are gifting me the hearts. Can y'all send me some hearts? It's literally one cent. The little heart right there that I have up there. Please hit the like button on uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Glory to be home. Mm It is my great pleasure just to give you praise. Father, we knew you were going to come through for us. So we give you glory now. We knew you were going to come through. Oh, thank you for uh, joining my team. If you want to join my team, you can click the heart. That orange heart, I think. I was talking about the pink heart. But yeah, join the team too. Verse 9 says, The things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice, practice, practice these things. And the God of peace will be with you. You can't just be a hearer of the word, but you got to be a doer. Doer. You have to practice it, you all. Thank you for the hearts. You have to practice it. And when you put it into practice, it says the God of peace is going to be with you. Baby, I promise you, if you practice it enough, next thing you know, you're going to be in that place. Thank you for the um, roses. You're going to be in that place and you're going to be like, wait a minute, how did I get here? Thank you for the unicorn with the rainbow. I love unicorns. Baby, when I saw that the Bible talked about unicorns, I was like, y'all, I'm a unicorn because don't play with me. When I saw that the Bible mentioned unicorns, do not play with me. I speak a thousandfold return over everybody that's sending me a gift on YouTube and TikTok. Thousandfold return. That's a seed too. God, we knew you were going to come through with us, for us, and we give you glory for it even now. Let's pray in the spirit for a little bit longer just to see if there's anything else. They're laughing at me on TikTok, but I'm so serious. Thank you for the hearts on TikTok. Is the person still on here that asked me to pray for their school or something. Are you still on here on TikTok? Father, give Ebony the healing that she needs in Jesus' name. I don't know if that person is... Okay, did you say third? You teach third? You said you want to pray for your students? Girl, yeah, I can't listen. I came across that one day and I said, wait a minute. The Bible talks about you. Wait, so unicorns are real? Wait, <laughs> don't play with me. I've always wanted a pet horse, but thank you for the heart, Crystal. Yes. Okay, so Father, y'all, let's pray for, I don't know her name, but we're going to pray for the third grade students. Father, we ask you to cover these students even now in the name of Jesus we ask you to make their their teacher even sensitive um la pasuya what's up sweetness let her be uh, uh let her operate under the discerning of the spirit some children go through a lot at home and even i mean i've seen it working in child welfare like some kids you have no idea what they go through at home with their parents will it be physical abuse mental abuse S.A., I can't say it because I don't want to get my life shut down, that type of abuse. Some of them come to school hungry because they literally, 
they don't have any food at home. I pray that their teacher walks in even the discerning of the spirits more so that she can discern what every child needs. Father, I thank you that these children will be open to learn. I think that they're going to retain all of the information that she gives. And I pray that they all, no matter what their background is, no matter what gods their parents are serving, I thank you that they will all have a hunger and a thirst after Jesus Christ because of who their teacher is. She does not have to go in there trying to teach them the Bible um, or anything like that. But I pray because of your, I pray that your light, um, just shines off of her and draws these children. Even give her dreams and visions of what, if there are any kids that are going through uh, abuse at home and the school doesn't know about it, give her dreams, give her visions, something. Let the kids just come up to her and just start talking. I don't even know why I'm praying this way. Let them just come up to her and just start talking, just just talking and telling it. Just, just trusting her enough. Let her be their safe place. I'm guessing this is a woman. I don't even know. I think I'm talking to the teacher is a woman. I can't see. Um, Father, we ask you to cover these children in the blood of Jesus. Keep them safe. Keep them protected. Children are not able to fight for themselves, but I thank you for the angels of the Lord that you have assigned to all of these children to keep them covered in Jesus' name. What's up, Brian? Lord, you are lovely. Lord, you are wonderful. Lord, you are precious to me. I have to find, you can just Google it, Amber. I don't know it by heart. I don't know if it was in song. I would have to find it, though. Lord, you are lovely. Lord, you are wonderful. She said one of their biggest wishes when we asked them is they wanted healthy food. You see what I'm saying? Father, for the children in her classroom that don't have food to eat, I ask you to show them that you are Jehovah Jireh. Even now in Jesus name, bring food to their doorstep. You did it for people back in the day. I've heard testimonies about how people didn't have food. They would literally open their pantries, prophesy to their pantries or their refrigerator. Next thing they know, bags of groceries show up at the doorstep. Nobody, nobody in sight, no human being in sight, but bags of groceries. Father, do it for these children. Do it for these children, even now in Jesus' name. We thank you that they're going to pass their test in Jesus' name. Father, I ask you to cover these people while they sleep. Cover them in the blood of Jesus. Nobody will be able to ask for project in our rooms or in our dreams. Thank you for the angels of the Lord that are standing guard in our rooms, around our bed, even now. Angels that we can't see. Some of us may be able to see them if we're seers. But we thank you for the angels that encamp round about us even now in Jesus name. I thank you for sweet sleep for these people even now. Help them sleep deeply on tonight. Even do it for my family. Let them sleep deep. Those that haven't been getting sleep, I decree and declare they're going to sleep tonight. They will sleep tonight in Jesus name. I ask you to cover them as they start their work week, Father. Those that have to go out in the workplace, I ask you to cover them on the different modes of transportation. I bind car accidents, plane accidents, bus accidents, robberies, bang bangs. I bind it now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, Spirit, be a ring of fire round about them. Cover them in their workplaces even now in Jesus' name. We thank you for the blood that covers now. Thank you for the heart. We thank you for the blood that covers now in the name of Jesus. Even those that, uh, I don't know why this is coming to me. Those that, because some people just be paranoid. Ain't nobody think about you. But for real, for real, for those that are being targeted at their workplaces, and they're in extremely toxic work environments. I pray that you deal with those that are trying to come against them even now in Jesus' name. 
I pray that you deal with those that are trying to come against them even now in Jesus' name. I thank you that their work environments may be will be safe. Crystal Davis said, I'm talking about her. Child of God said her husband is going through this right now. Lord, do it for them even now in Jesus' name. I thank you for your showing up as the just judge for those that are being targeted at their workplace. I had a, a relative that was so targeted, their co-workers literally tried to poison her. Literally. And the Lord told that person, before you die, you're going to see all of them dead. And I promise you, if I'm not mistaken, every single person that tried to poison her, they're now deceased. And no, she did not speak death over them, just to be clear, because the Bible says, bless them that curse you. But y'all cannot, you can't play with a child of God. You, yeah. It's dangerous when the person, when somebody is really trying to obey God and is walking up right before him and you want to target them and play with them, you're putting yourself in a very dangerous place. Woe unto you. Father, once again, we thank you for being Jehovah Gabor, the God that fights for us. Thank you for covering these people on YouTube and TikTok. Cover them now in Jesus' name. And they stayed the whole time. Some of them, not everybody, but they stayed the whole time. I ask you to give them a thousandfold return. Every person that sold through gifts, give them a thousandfold return. Anybody that sold through Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Zelle, whatever, give them a thousandfold return in Jesus' name. Those that sold through prayers and they're praying the right prayers for me, give them a harvest in Jesus' name. I seal this prayer in the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare that it is so and shall not be otherwise. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, the vengeance of the Lord, I'm telling you. He said, vengeance is mine. I'm going to repay. And by the time he's done with these people, they're going to wish that you would have just got your lick back yourself. So, yeah, they need to repent. But I'm, I'm done. I'm done and I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy and I'm done. I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow night. We'll see. You can go to my website, www. Can somebody type my website on TikTok? www.calltocastout.com. It's listed on YouTube. If you want to book a life strategy session, you can book it there. If you need prayers to help you, you can go there. If you want to sow a seed, you can go there. If you need to contact me, you can go there www.calltocastout.com I may be back tomorrow night or I may be taking a break. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to exit off as soon as somebody types my website on it. In the chat on TikTok. www.calltocastout.com Thank you for 13,000 likes on TikTok. Thank you for everybody that followed me on TikTok. Thank you for everybody that on YouTube, everybody on YouTube that hit the like button. Thank you. Anybody, everybody that commented in the comment section that helps to push the video out. Thank you. Lord, TikTok, I don't understand. Nobody is typing it. I guess I'll, can I type it myself? Um, I don't see it. I don't see where it was typed. Lord, you are lovely. Lord, you are wonderful. I don't see it. Lord, you are precious to me. Oh well, it won't let me type it. So on TikTok, if you need if you need my website, just go up there. Go to the link in my bio and it'll take you there. They probably did. TikTok be hating. Lord, you are lovely. Thank you, CJ. I pray a thousand for return. Lord, you are wonderful. All right, I'm out. Lord, you are precious to me.